I cannot believe I am seriously about to do this. Finally lost my mind. Okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you're surrounded by all these beautifully scented shaving soaps and you can't smell anything. It actually makes you insane. All right. Well, what are we doing here today on the Soap Thing Project? Well, everybody keeps pushing the same tired old talking point that when you're making a lather, you're looking for a lather with the consistency of whipped cream. Well, whatever, I'm actually gonna shave with whipped cream. And this is the Cool Whip Extra Creamy Stuff. For anybody who is curious, for whatever bizarre reason, here's the ingredients, or I'm sure they have a website for you to look it up, but this is fresh out of the fridge. And I am going to do some, some myth bustering today. Love that show, Myth Busters. So for the aftershave, we're gonna use some ProRazzo White for sensitive skin, because for some reason I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> I'm going to use this above the tie Windsor SE1 with the, I believe this is the Atlas handle. So, and this currently has a Kai Captain Titan Mild blade inside of it. So, let's get all this together and let's, <laughs> let's do a shave. All right, time to get started. I'm just going to take the wrapping off of this. We are going to open it up and it looks exactly like that. And whatever, what the heck, I'm just gonna take a big old heaping gob. See that? And I'm just gonna start working this stuff in. Good news is, if you accidentally get this in your mouth, it's not going to taste exactly like crap, like real shaving soap does. This is wanting to dissolve, so I have a feeling this is going to be quite the irritating shave. So right off the bat, I would say that a lather with the consistency of whipped cream is not an ideal analogy. <laughs> I'm getting this stuff all over. Oh, what is wrong with me? Okay. Loading the sink up full of water. Looking in the mirror, it does look like this stuff is actually quite slick. And you know what, I'll tell you what, if I get through this shave and I have no nicks or cuts whatsoever, I'm gonna eat my underwear. Like, this is, this is not gonna go well. Okay, here we go. Twenty-four hours growth on the face today. Uh, you know what? So far, it's not horrible. I'm not sure why exactly. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment, but there's a fair amount of slickness to this. There's a quite a robust amount of primary slickness. Residual slickness is non-existent. There is literally none. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on. See if I can work some of that in there. Ugh. 
So for those of you who uh, need to be told this, this is obviously not what this is for. So exercise caution when you are trying this at home. There is a reason why when you go to the hardware store and you buy a wheelbarrow, there is a reason why there's a big old sticker on the side of it that says not intended for highway use. Because people are that stupid and they will actually do that, okay? Like, I'm not kidding. I once went out and bought a coffee from, uh, I forget, some fast food restaurant. I bought a coffee and on the side of the styrofoam cup, it actually said, do not pour this on your crotch. Dude, <laughs> what the heck is wrong with people? They're, they're pouring coffee on their crotch like what? Like really? I don't know, people are. Maybe they've all lost their mind like I have. Maybe they lost their sense of smell and then they lost their mind and that's just, that's just what happened. But I don't know, some goofy things out there that we have to tell people because they will do it. It does appear that I got a little bit of redness on my neck, but I will tend to do that anyway. So as much as I want to blame it on the Cool Whip, I'm not necessarily in a position where I can just do that because I will tend to get redness on my neck anyway. Stuff is nice and cool on the face because it just came out of the fridge. <laughs> I'm getting this stuff all over. It doesn't adhere to your face like shaving soap does. I mean, it just wants to fall off. I can taste it. <laughs> Can't smell it yet, but I can taste it. There's a little bit of a nib. I'm not sure if that was from a shave I did off camera. Well, no, sure enough, I did get a nick, but I nicked a pre existing nick from a shave I did off camera. So thankfully, I don't have to eat my underbridges. Okay. Let me look. Yeah, it might turn out that with the exception of this, that was a pre-existing nick from a prior shave that I then hacked off again. If it weren't for that, it doesn't look like there would be any weepers, which is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Unfreaking leaveable is what this is. 
Okay. Looks like I got everything. Let's have a rinse. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, this stuff is all over the place. Okay. Yeah, that's not horrible. It doesn't look like much different than any other shave I've had lately. That's that's fascinating. Okay, we're going to come back in just a minute for the uh, Pro Razzo White aftershave. Okay, that was actually not even close to the worst shave I've ever had. I have definitely had worse. Uh, while I was off camera, I did uh, wash my face with some Neutrogena face soap just to get this stuff off of me. So... Let's finish it up here with some Pro Razzo White for sensitive skin. Ooh, that feels good on the face. Little bit of razor burn. I had expected more. I expected actually way more, but there is a little bit. Okay. Jiminy Christmas. If I can quit dropping stuff. Okay. Prorezzo White. Aftershave Ball. So, what are my final thoughts on this whole situation? Uh, <laughs> well, primary slickness was surprisingly good, but that's about all I had going for it. Every other part of the shave was... Uh, relatively unpleasant so I would not recommend doing this on your own but it was it was an interesting learning experience I will say that so that's the end of the shave for today and uh, actually you know what I'm gonna be a little bit of a jerk and tag somebody I'm gonna see if I can get Lather Addict to do this let's see if we can get Arthur Knowles over at Lather Addict to shave with some Cool Whip so until next time this is Soap Thing wishing everybody a great shave with a proper kind of shaving soap. And I wanna thank you for watching.